Game Chat with Warner, episode 35, coming at you right now. Welcome to Game Chat with Buana, your source for gaming news and reviews. Now, here's Buana McCall. This is Game Chat with Buona, episode 35. Game Chat with Buona, episode 35, coming at you live October 31st, 2011. And we are here live at live.buona.tv. And all of a sudden, uh, I've got change into this voice. I don't know where it comes from, but I just got to keep talking. <clears throat> this is Game Chat Buona, episode 35. We are here. This is every Monday night. We're doing this at 6 p.m. Eastern now to account for our European viewers, people over there across the pond. You guys drive on the wrong side of the road. Ooh, don't get me started on that, but we love our European viewers and everybody across the globe. You guys are wrapping up your knots. It's about midnight some places, and uh, but it's like 6 p.m. here um, at Game Chat Buona. We're here at live.buona.tv or twitch.tv slash Buona. You guys need to come by if you got time. If not, you can check us out on YouTube on youtube.com slash Buffet or on my website, Buona.tv. And uh, we talk about gaming news. The last seven days of that gaming news, we try to find the best stories we can. Uh, but we don't do a good job. I've been looking at the stories I've been picking, and uh, I can find better. So I think uh, starting next week, this week I got some decent stories. But next week I'm going to try to find some better sources and get some juicier gaming news. I think we're kind of like, you know, the stories we're picking, everybody's like, yeah, I read about that. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. You know, we want to find that good stuff. The stuff that tastes like chocolate, but it's not. It's actually dirt, but it tastes like chocolate. It's that good. Just awesome. Just awesome. So you guys can submit your stories, too. Go to buona.tv slash forums. And at the end of the show, what we do is that we uh, we talk about the stuff that you guys find, and we try to augment it to what I find so that we can you know, get a full breadth of what's going on in the past week of gaming news. So without further ado, we're going to get started with episode 35 of Game Chat with me, who happened to be named Buona. And for our first of this awesome juiciness, we're going to talk about the new Humble Bundle, which just is so awesome. Now, if you're into indie games, uh, Humble Bundles are very, very cool because it allows you to donate to charity. Um, and uh, allows you to play some of these very, very fun independent games that these indie developers have made. And uh, this is like the fifth or sixth one now. And they've been raising millions and millions of dollars for these charities. They got different charities down here. Let's see. Uh, EFF, Electronic Frontier Foundation, Child's Play, and Humble Tip. Uh, you can give the Humble Bundle guys a tip. Um, and also to the game developers, of course. So this one's called the Voxatron. They butt. Now... I, I call it the day but because you have to watch the video. It's very good. These guys are doing some like voice impressions in their uh, in their video, and uh, they got some Arnold Schwarzenegger going on and all kinds of stars. And he's like, "It's the humble bundle Voxatron day but," and I'm like, "Sounds like something I'd say day but instead of debut." But this is the humble humble Voxatron debut. This game uh, Voxatron looks pretty cool. Uh, it is a kind of a shooter game um, with with some interesting monsters. Uh, and, and an interactive environment and things like that and it does come with its own level editor so you can create your own levels with this game Voxatron uh, I think it normally goes for $15 but at these humble bundles which makes them cool is that you can pay less than that or more than that depending on how much you want to pay like for instance if you want to donate 20 bucks and say okay I want to get $15 to the Voxatron guys $2 to EFF $1.50 to so and so you know you can split it out really easy with these humble bundles so head over to humble bundle Ed.com, humblebundle.com. You can check out the latest one. It looks like it seems like the last Humble Bundle was less than a month ago, and they usually don't come this fast. So it kind of caught me off guard that this one came so fast. So check it out, guys. Go to humblebundle.com. Get the latest on the Humble Voxatron Day Butt <laughs> over there and do it and buy it and stuff. Now we're going to talk about some old school games and. Uh, this was one of the first games that I saw on the PC that intimidated me. Um, Mech Warrior. 
Mech Warrior was a was a game where you actually drove around a mech, and the control scheme was very intimidating to me when I played it on PC. I was like, "There's a button to do everything." Seems like you have to press a different button to move your left finger. If you want to shoot a bullet, you need to press three buttons in succession, hit the passcode, and then hit enter four times in succession, and then spin around in a circle, press the space bar, hold down escape. Don't forget it! And then you'll be able to shoot one bullet, and then you got to repeat the process. But the game was actually very, 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 very fun once you got into it, once you got used to it. And I was very happy to see that this is actually going to be coming out very soon. Sooner than I thought it would. The Mech Warrior reboot is going to be PC exclusive. So I was like, you know, I like to hear PC exclusive games because they're rare, man. I don't know. It's nothing against the console guys, but, you know, every now and then we want to have a PC exclusive game. It's going to be launching the second half of 2012. Uh, so check this out. This is over on joystick.com. But guys, if you haven't heard about Mech Warrior or, you know, don't even know what it is, go to YouTube, search for Mech Warrior video, whatever. Look at some of the old footage. Um, you know, there's some new mech games that are coming out. I, I forgot the name of it, but it's going to be looking pretty good. It reminds me a lot of Mech Warrior. But check out this Mech Warrior reboot that's going to be coming. Hopefully, they'll overlay a lot of good stuff while at the same time keeping, you know, the um, the authenticity of the original title. Because I think a lot of the old Mech Warrior players just want a, a little bit of a facelift, a little bit of a facelift on it. But don't go crazy, you know, to where you have to buy a you know, a SLI setup or, or a crossfire setup on your PC just to run the stupid thing. Um, but I am looking forward to this. I want to see what they do with it um, and, uh, you know, how it looks and how it feels. Check it out, guys, over on joystick.com. This is Mech Warrior Reboot. Going to be a PC exclusive. New over here. Now, this is something that's been a long time coming, it seems, right? We talked about DC Universe going free to play about, seems like three months ago, didn't it? And, you know, word came out that it was going to be coming out in October. And uh, even there was a, like a date. It was like, uh, I think it was a couple of Wednesdays ago. They said it was supposed to be coming out. But it is finally going to be coming free to play this November 1st, which is tomorrow. So those of you who have been anxiously anticipating this title go free to play so you can check it out and get your fun on. We'll be able to download it tomorrow. Uh... On November 1st probably going to be around the time that the PlayStation update comes out which is like afternoon Eastern uh, so it won't be there in the morning so don't stay up till midnight because you won't see it there on the PlayStation Network store uh, I don't know what time they're gonna put it on the PC website but remember they're gonna have three tiers the free the premium and the legendary so you can check those three out read about them the free is gonna have you know pretty much access to most things that you want to try um, and when you want premium, you're going to, you know, when you get premium, you're probably going to get access to more slots, more backpack space and all this other stuff. And legendary, blah, 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 blah. Legendary are the paying people that are going to be paying the subscription fee. There's one little blemish on all of this. Um, those of you who bought the Blu-ray version on PS3, current players. Um, this last sentence, I got to look more into this, but they say you're going to have to download a new client which is going to consume 20 gigabytes of space even though you have the game on disc um i hope this is a mistake i hope this is not completely true because that'd be terrible that current ps3 users won't be able to play unless they download a 20 gigabyte client all over again to play this title and i you know i saw that and i was like that's that'll make some people quit um, that'll make some people say, well, I'm just going to cancel it now because I don't want to do this. I bought the game on this and now I have to, you know, what if they don't have 20 gigabytes free? What if they can't get a hard drive? You know, you're taking your current paying customers and you're putting them out on a limb there. So, uh, I really hope that that is not completely true. I hope that's kind of a, you know, something that was a missing misinformation type thing with a PlayStation lifestyle. But I don't know, guys, that, uh. If, if, if the client has to be altered that much to where you they can't patch the other one um, Wow 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 check it out guys. Um, this is good news that is coming out, but we're gonna we're gonna be 
we're going to be watching very closely if that that last bit's going to be true because if it is you know some of you might have to buy a new hard drive some of you might have to make space you know it's going to be an inconvenience for paying customers which we don't like to do so game chat with Juana is recorded live before a worldwide audience every monday night you can participate by suggesting news stories just register an account in our forums at buona.tv slash forums. Okay, now we're going to talk about another free-to-play title, which recently became available on Steam that I have been raving about for weeks, even months, even several months. Seems like over a year now, uh, but it hasn't been that long. Bloodline Champions, guys. I did a, uh, an extensive review, one of the few reviews on YouTube that you'll find of this game. Um, and I, I, you know, I, I gave it all the praise. I was like, this is a tight, this is a sleeper. This is so fun. This is, you know, I had nothing really bad to say about it, but the problem was, is that it, it really didn't have a big enough community, you know, to overtake some of these other free to play titles like League of Legends and Heroes of New Earth and all these other, you know, type of online battle arena games. I'm not going to call it MOBA because people go crazy when you say that, um, but Bloodline Champions is not the typical MOBA that you see. You know, it's all about straight up PvP, high action, skill shot, skill play. Um, and you know, I, I can't say can't say enough bad things about it, except the community is just not there. So when I saw this story, I was very very happy to see that it is now available on Steam, free to play on Steam. Bloodline Champions. So if those of you on Steam can find it. On the Steam website, download it and play it today for free. And you're going to get some uh, goodies out of the deal. Uh, now through November, If you play now through November 4th, you'll get a choice of some of these special weapons. And you'll get XP bonuses. Um, and I, 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 I can't say it enough, guys. This is something that you should at least try. Even if you don't like it, I'll respect it after you try it. You just have to try it. And... Uh, let us know what you think because uh you know we had a lot of fun playing it but it's just the community just wasn't there it's just nobody to play with and it was saddening to see so i'm hoping that this will inject new life into the game which still has a pretty decent following in europe but it's kind of dying off in the u.s and it's, it's trying to be it, it's a game that's kind of built with esports in mind i mean they have a great spectator client we're going to talk about league of legends today and their spectator client but Bloodline Champions has a, its own built-in spectator client, and you can watch tournaments right from the game. You know, matches, professional Bloodline Champion players, you can watch them right in the game. It's built right in. I mean, they, they really thought about esports when they made this game. Whereas with other titles, you know, sometimes esports is an afterthought. Um, and I just really want to see this title succeed. I've been promoting it, promoting it, promoting it. And, you know, it's been my featured video on my YouTube channel for months because I really want to see it grow. So give it a try, guys. Go to bloodlinechampions.com if you want more details. But this is on the Steam-powered news site, where it's now free to play on Steam. You can find it available. Download it today. It's about 850 megs. And then you just have to create an account, and then you can play for free. This is Bloodline Champions, guys. Great game. Check it out. This is over on steampower.com. They got the details over there. And yes, I did say MOBA. Now we're going to talk about League of Legends. And League of Legends is gearing up for Season 2. Season 2! I just did that. Season 2 is going to be coming out. And um, we've already talked about all the money that they're pumping into the, to the tournaments. They're going to pump $5 million into next year's or this year's Season 2's tournaments. And the final tournament is going to take about $2 million. So it's going to be a lot of money being thrown into uh, League of Legends. And one of the things that, that uh, Riot is going to do is, uh, uh, remember I talked about the spectator mode. They're going to make the spectator mode available to certain people during certain times. They call it a limited beta. And uh, this will allow you to watch games without participating. Initially, they're going to roll it out for custom games only. You won't be able to watch uh, matchmaking games, but you'll be able to watch <coughs> custom games, which is kind of the same way Bloodline Champions is doing. They're doing it for, uh, for just custom games at the moment, but you can watch tournaments as well. So we'll see if Riot makes it available for the tournaments that are available for League of Legends. But Season 2 is coming up. Um, if it hasn't already started, this article is from the 26th. Um, 
I haven't been on League of Legends in a while because of another game that just came out. Kind of rhymes with Cattlefield C. Cattlefield C rhymes. Cattlefield C. Cattlefield C. Cattlefield C rhymes with Cattlefield C. Came out. And it's been kind of taking a little bit of my time, so I haven't played uh, League of Legends since that Cattlefield C game rhymes with Cattlefield C came out. So check it out, guys. This is, this is over on joystick.com. They got the details about season two. You can watch the video, get a glimpse of where they're going with it. You know, they're basically just hyping up the money and uh, talking about the spectator client. So I thought that was newsworthy. So check that out. Now, tomorrow is Uncharted 3 day. <gasps> you didn't know. <sighs> you didn't know. You didn't know, did you? You knew. Tomorrow, Uncharted 3 comes out on the PlayStation 3. Probably going to be the most anticipated title this half of the year. Um, this game won many, many awards. Uncharted 2 uh, won so many awards. And, and Uncharted 3 is, is, is probably going to do the same thing. Based on what I've seen so far and heard about it, um, really, really looking forward to this game. I told you guys before I finished Uncharted 2, I don't know how many times. Love the game. Just kept playing it, playing it, playing it. Just a single player. I didn't play the multiplayer that much. Just a single player campaign. Um, so if Uncharted 3 is anywhere near Uncharted 2, I'm going to love it. So I was very interested to see this story where Nolan North, the main voice actor who plays Nathan Drake in the game, he's commented on all the hoopla around the Uncharted movie. And we've talked about this in previous uh, game chat with one us where, uh, you know, they're going to make a movie from this game. And um, they were talking about doing, putting Mark Wahlberg in there. And everybody was like, and Mark, Ugh. you know, everybody just hated Mark Wahlberg. And, um, you know, I, I, I said the same thing. You know, I ain't gonna, I'm not going to lie. Mark Wahlberg is a terrible choice. <laughs> and everybody was like, we want Nathan uh, Philly. I think his last name is Philly on. He was from uh, Firefly. And Serenity, everybody's like, oh, yeah, he looks just like Nathan Drake. He looks just like, he can make it great. Everybody's like, yeah, 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 ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, everybody was on board with that. But nobody stated the obvious. Why don't you make Nolan North Nathan Drake? That's what he says in this article. He's like, it's very frustrating for any actor to have someone who's a celebrity take your place. Like the Uncharted film, they're trying to find someone to play Nathan Drake. And it's like, why do they not think of us? We do this. I was like, herder, herder, herder. He, he's a boy. He's an act. He, he does it. So why not consider him? And he's like, he goes on. He says, and you know, it's not like I'm the pilot who landed the plane in the Hudson River and saved people's lives. And you're not going to do a movie about it. He's a pilot. He says, I'm an actor. What an act. What actor would I like to play me? Uh, I don't know. Please just stop. <laughs> so he's got a point because if you watch the videos on how they make the, the movies and, th and stuff, these guys, they do all the motion capture as well. They do the voice acting. They do the motion capture. So the characters actually move physically in the game like the voice actors do. Um, and it, it's... <sighs> I, I really slapped myself on the head because I was like, oh, man, that's so obvious. Why not get them to do it? Because I, I watched the video today. It was a behind the scenes, and they had the lady uh, who played the – I can't remember her name. She, oh, man, I'm, she's going to kill me. The lady who plays this – if, you, if you're watching this lady who plays that, I'm sorry. But I can't remember your name in the game. So um, that's that. But uh, they were sitting there talking, and I was like, man, she's – acting and walking and talking just like the character. And I'm like, duh, they did motion cap based on them. So it would make so much sense to do a movie from the voice actors themselves. That's the whole point of this article. And I got to agree, guys, because it's not obvious when you think about it. But when you do think about it, it's kind of obvious. Check it out. This is over on PlayStationLifestyle.net. They got the details over there. Please support Game Chat with Buana by turning off your ad blocking software. Now we're gonna talk about that game that rhymes with Cafe 3. Cafe 3, Cafe 3, Cafe 3. 
Battlefield 3 was released this past the 25th. Well, I don't know what day it was. On the 25th, Battlefield 3 was released to the masses. And guys, it was a grandiose release. It was glorious. It was outstanding. Now it had its problems, but we're going to talk about that in a bit. Um, but I was a little bit perturbed. And um, I was a little bit, a little bit, you know, this heartened that the back to Carcan DLC was not at included at launch and you know I don't know why I just assumed it would be because it was a pre-order bonus blah 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 you know it just never crossed my mind that the 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 DLC was not going to be there at release and you know it's not there I want I want to play I want to play the, the maps from that and you know but I got over it so when I saw this, I was like, oh, man, I got to wait till December now. Yeesh. But there's plenty in this game to keep me going until then. Uh, those of us who pre-ordered the game will get this DLC for free. Hopefully we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Hopefully we'll get it free. Um, and uh, it, it, man, it's going to cost around 10 to $15. It's going to be here. Uh, in December, so I'm gonna be looking forward to this. Check it out. It's over on PlayStationLifestyle.net. They got the details now. Um, I'm just gonna move on to the next story because I'm about to talk about it. And EA promised the PS3 owners that they would get Battlefield 1943 as an included bonus if they bought the PS3 version of Battlefield 3. Um, and you know, it was one of the you know when they get the package, you says it's gonna include Battlefield 1943 for free. So after after release, people were like, "Where is 1943? I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. It's nowhere to be found." Do I get a code? I'm um, called Origin Support. Origin Support. Where is my Battlefield 1943? What Battlefield 1943? I don't need no Battlefield 1943. I have a Battlefield 1943. I'm supposed to be getting with my PS3 version, man. Where's my Battlefield 1943? You're supposed to be getting no 1943. I don't know There's nothing on here about Battlefield 1943. Maybe you got your dates wrong. This is Battlefield 3, not Battlefield 1943. No, no, no. I don't think you know what you're talking about. Can I speak to your supervisor? And then you got these nasty the arguments on support um turns out ea just changed their mind they said oh that 1940 battlefield 1943 thing we're going to include the ps3 nah we decided not to do that what <sighs> That's unfathomable. It's like saying you're gonna get a you buy a collector's edition and you get a a, a free copy of another game and then they say, "Oh, we're not gonna give you the game." It, it, it's, it's so arrogant. I, I it literally shocked me that they would be so bold to do this. So here's the uh, here, here's the thing that really makes it wonderful. They put out this uh, this statement that in lieu of the 1943 being available on disc. For PS3 customers, EA has made all BF3 expansions available early to BF to PS3 customers. <laughs> that that's supposed to make them feel better, really. You were gonna give them a free game, and you changed your mind at the last minute. I, I really, it's terrible. I, it's, this is a really bad, bad move by EA slash Dice because Dice, you can't escape your, your your parent company, so you're included in this mudslinging. Why would they? Re, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know why they would remove that. It's a digital title. This was a download only title, so um, there was no media. You know, to, to 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 press, put out there, to ship to people. All they had to do was, you know, update the Sony PlayStation PSN store. Say it's free for people who have a certain key that came with Battlefield Three. Um. So of all the positive things we talk about Battlefield Three, everybody's raving about it. it's getting great reviews. Uh, the the gameplay is great. 
Uh, it does have problems. It's not perfect. I'm not going to say it's perfect. But, I, you know, this is a game that I say, okay, I'm going to be playing this a year from now. And that's how Battlefield 2 was. I mean, it, it had a lasting appeal that you were going to play it a long, long, long time. Um, and that's how I feel about Battlefield 3. But when you hear about things like this, you know, it really puts a huge blemish on this, this great game. Um, that they would promise things to their customers and then don't give it to them without a word. They're, they didn't give them any kind of indication that they weren't going to give it to them. It was just like, well, we'll just put out a statement after release. You know, and it's so bad how this was all handled. Um, so check it out, guys. This is over on PlayStationLifestyle.net. PS3 owners are definitely feeling left out. Um, there was supposed to be, you know, you know, maybe some people chose the PS3 version over the 360 version just because of that. They were like, well, I really don't care which platform I play on, but since the PS3 is going to have Battlefield 1943 for free, I'll, I'll buy it there. No Battlefield 1943. Which is a good game, guys. If you haven't seen my video's coverage of it, this Battlefield 1943 is a good Battlefield game. You know, it is a little bit limited scale back, but it was only like $15, but it's very good. Very fun game. Um, it's a shame that EA left it out. Check it out. PlayStationLifestyle.net. So while we are on, this picture is hilarious. Look at it. <laughs> while we're on the topic of, of Battlefield 3, there was a lot of uh, launch issues. Uh, we can look back on it now because it's been like a week, almost a week since it's been out. And... <clears throat> It's been a, it was a lot of launch issues. People were having crashes. Uh, there were some origin issues. There were some battle log issues. It still is today. All of them aren't gone. Uh, some people are still having problems. Uh, lots of lag issues on certain maps. Uh, and uh, just a lot of little quirks that you would expect today from a PC game launch, which is kind of sad. We have, the bar has kind of been lowered terms of quality on PC games. Really, really sad state. So, with that said, EA has assured us that these problems have been addressed. Uh, and, and, you know, based on my personal experience, uh, I, I, I personally didn't have a lot of issues at launch. The main issue I had was crashes, which didn't really occur to like the... I don't think I had my first crash until the third day after launch. That was my first crash. And then last night, I had about 10 crashes in a row. So it's been kind of fluctuating for me. Uh, but I applied some virtual memory fixes with my stuff using BCD Edit. Some of you may have heard of that, that workaround. And I haven't had a crash since. Um, but EA has been rolling out updates, especially on the server side. There's been about three or four server updates since release. And... Um, I've been following support on Reddit. I've been following it on the forums. And DICE and EA, I got to say, guys, just that last story was terrible, but EA and DICE, they're doing a really good job of handling all this stuff because Bad Company 2's launch was horrible um, in retrospect. Bad, Companies 2, Bad Company 2's launch, you know, most people didn't play like the first month. Because they couldn't. They bought the game and they, it sat there because they literally could not play. For like a month. And it was horrible. There was some huge hit detection issues. A lot of uh, lag issues. Which basically forced me to stop playing the game altogether. You know, I put it down for a good four months straight. And then they came out with some patches to address that stuff. The knifing was completely broken. Um, and I just didn't want to play it anymore. Now, Battlefield 3, I still want to play. And the issues I'm having are not nowhere near as serious as Bad Company 2. Now, I go back to Battlefield 2. I'm, I can't remember if I had a lot of issues at Battlefield 2 because I didn't buy it, like, on launch day. I bought it, like, a few months after launch. So when I got it, I had to download a couple patches, and I was fine. But from what people are saying on Reddit and other sites, the Battlefield 2 launch was worse. There's was a lot, lot more problems. Um, so yeah, DICE has a reputation of releasing buggy games and then, you know, having excellent support afterwards, patching the game, improving the game for a long, long time. 
which is why I think their fan base, including myself, likes to stick with dice games because even though they're buggy, they're not going to just leave you there and, and let it rot. You know, they're going to fix their games. And that's what this article is talking about. They're, they're, they're actually on top of the issues. Uh, the Xbox 360 servers were down for a long time. PC servers were having problems. People were getting kicked. Uh, they said a huge patch is in the works, which is going to address a lot more issues. So, and this is, we're barely a week after launch. Um, you know, and I think the European viewers got it on Friday. So it's been a few days for those guys. And they're, we're already getting patches in the works. So it's under control, according to EA. Uh, people still having issues though. Don't think that nobody's having issues because they are and you just had to work around them I bought a new flight stick. I don't have it near me Darn I want to show it on the stream. Um, I have I bought a flight stick a cyborg fly five flight stick just for flying jets Because I love jets I just want to fly jets and shoot people and you know do loop-de-loops and and run into poles Inside joke um and I uh, bought the flight stick and it doesn't work. The game just doesn't like it for some reason. So I had to revert back to my my uh, gamepad for, for jet play. But guys, Battlefield 3, all in all, I got to say, I like it. A lot of problems, but I still, still like it. Check it out, guys. This is over on PlayStationLifestyle.net. They got the details over there. And... <clears throat> Yep, that concludes all the stories I have. We're going to move on to the user submitted stories where you guys bring up your stuff and talk about what you got to say right there. Game Chat with Juana is recorded live before a worldwide audience every Monday night. You can participate by suggesting news stories. Just register an account in our forums at buana.tv slash forums. <coughs> Ooh, man. Can't get enough water today. Okay, so we're going to move on to the user submitted story. We got a few here. And you guys are doing great jobs of keeping to two stories. I really, really like that. We're going to start with Michael McAllister here. Final wheel hardware to be at next year's E3. Let's see what kind of uh, Wii U news we have at GameSpot today. Hello. Hello. Bigger. Okay. Nintendo confirms design complete console will be on hand. Uh, playable demos will be there. Let's see. Yesterday, the Japanese publisher reported revenues dipped 40% year over year. Yeah, we read about that before. Nintendo's in a slump. Um, blah, 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 blah. And they said that uh, they're going to refocus on the 3DS and the Wii U next year. Stuff. Where's the main meat? I think I missed it. Uh, better lesson. Talking about the 3DS. I don't care about 3DS. I want to hear the Wii. Okay, well, I guess I don't see it in this article anywhere mentioning the Wii U being at at E3 except for this quote at the top. Um, but I'm a terrible skimmer today. So we'll just take the word for it. Nintendo's final Wii U hardware is going to be at E3 2012. So we're going to be looking forward to that to see if that actually comes out. Um, and we can actually critique it. Like real critique it because this past E3, you know, we were going on a lot of like, oh man, it was just half information and, you know, where's the actual console and, you know, uh, we just, we really were guessing at a lot of different things and Nintendo just held back too much. They really did and it confused a lot of us, but we're not going to go to that. So hopefully we will be seeing a feature complete one. At E3. Thanks for that, Michael. Let's go to the next one. Connect for Windows commercial program hits next year. I want to be talking to my Xbox, Microsoft. Where is it at? Xbox. Finish this game on hard. 
Xbox. Pay my light bill. Xbox. Drive to the store and get me some cookies and milk. Xbox. Microsoft writing tools to help businesses like Toyota Razorfish build applications using motion control peripherals. Launch expected early 2012. Oh, cool. So I want to hear what Toyota is going to do. That's a one year anniversary on the Xbox 360 Connect. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The Connect for Windows. This is the uh, SDK for Windows. Commercial program will provide businesses tools for creating industry focused applications. Several companies have joined the pilot program before the official launch initiative set for early 2012, including Toyota. Uh, blah, blah, blah. No example implementations were provided. Sad face. So I wanted to hear about it. But Microsoft alluded to the camera's previous use in hobbyist and academic applications, such as implementation in the operating room to view MRI and CT scan data, ooh, and environment-aware autonomous toy helicopter flight, as well as Minecraft applications with Connect. People posing in front of the camera and Connect, and it builds it in Minecraft. Very, very cool stuff. So I, this is what really got me excited about Connect. So I'm eager to hear more about this. Um, this this uh, Windows, basically the SDK for Connect for Windows. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So they're talking about the holiday push for Connect and all these different titles. Services such as Comcast, Verizon Fios, and HBO Go will also join the list of Connect able applications as well. Outstanding. So hopefully you'll be able to control your cable TV or maybe uh, some online components using Connect. Voice commands, I'm more excited about than the. Uh, Gestures. The gestures look cool, but I think the voice commands are really going to sell it if they work as intended. Okay. Thanks for that, Michael. Great article on the progress of Connect. Ooh, nice connection there, Michael. 61 down. I'm jealous. Okay. Raz Yami says Sony Santa Monica hiring for unannounced God of War title. 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 So if you happen to live in the California A, Santa Monica, and you're a game developer, you may be able to be working on God of War. Let's see. The job listing is for senior staff concept artists. So you got to be drawn. You got to get your art skills on. Uh, studio will hunt for a senior online programmer with experience in designing and implementing systems and tools to support networking needs. Okay. The rumors are the next installment of God of War franchise will eviscerate demons of... Okay, during the holiday... During the 2012 holiday season. So it's coming out in 2012, uh, hopefully. But they're hiring concept artists, so it might be a little bit later than next year. Check it out. New article, I mean, new opening on God of War. Thanks for that, Raz Yami. Blizzard Dev on Blizzard Dota. We felt like we really needed to simplify things. Yeah, I wonder what made you give... I wonder what gave you that impression. Hint, hint. League of Legends is simple. Therefore, you must be simple too. Maybe that's probably the cause. Okay, Blizzard Dev, blah, 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 blah. They're mostly the same. And these may remember bigger bumpers. And bigger, 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 bigger. We caught up with our senior designer, Johnny Ebert, at BlizzCon for a find out why the developers felt as though they needed to really simplify things. That's why Dota became more like... Oh, and why Dota should become more like chess. Hmm. I don't think of Dota as chess. Ebert's main problem with Dota genre is that he feels unfair towards players. In traditional Dota games, I'll get face rolled and I'll have no idea what happened to me. I'll tell you, you got game, says Ebert. But in Blizzard Dota, if I get face rolled, it's like, yeah, I get it. He was three levels ahead of me. Okay. I don't see how you don't get that in... Regular Dota. At Blizzard, we feel that it should be easy to learn and difficult to master. Okay, I understand that. He draws a comparison with chess, explaining that it's easy to understand the rules of the board game, but tricky to actually put them into practice. We felt like we really needed to simplify things and get the depth of where it belongs on the back end. I guess the other thing we're attacking is a social tension that the genre is really kind of famous for. Yeah, your community sucks! He describes the kills and assists as horrible, horrible way of scoring a game. And uh, he says, we got rid of kills and assists and came up with the idea of a takedown. If three of us kill a guy, everyone who participated gets the takedown and rewards get divided equally. Oh, joy. You're so fair. That sounds so stupid. (sighs) 
We're super huge fans and we want to make something really exciting that we want to play. I don't know, guys. That that doesn't sound very that doesn't sound very good to me. Um, a takedown. It's just what this is like the Care Bear Dota. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna withhold judgment. Except to say it sucks, but I'm gonna withhold judgment until it comes out. I am gonna say it sucks. Right now, that whole takedown idea. I think it sucks. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I think the idea sucks. But great article there, Raz Yummy. I did not find this. Thanks for the find. Great article. Weekend deals. Dead Space, Borderlands, and Amnesia. 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 Lots of stuff was on sale this weekend. Halloween sales. Uh, from various different sites. Uh, Ghostbusters for $2,049. Borderlands Game of the Year for $8. See, this is why we love PC gaming, guys. And uh, some of these, I think some of these are console too. Uh, Amnesia, of course. Everybody's buying Amnesia this time of year. Um, Hard Reset, $14.95. Good games there. Saints Row the Third for $40. Assassin's Creed for $35. Connect Sensor for 120 with uh, Child of Eden Connect Adventures. Dead Island PC Download for 30 bucks. That's a really good deal. Dead Island is barely a couple months old. Battlefield is down to 50. It was down to 42 at one point. Uh, Deus Ex, 40 bucks. Great deal. Civilization 5, 40 bucks. We got that as low as like $15, so that's not that great of a deal. Uh, Director Drive has some deals here. Gamers Gate has a Dead Space, the Fear titles, Amnesia, it's $4. Uh, Arkham Asylum is $7. I got that for 10 so that's a good deal. <coughs> Impulse, Rift for $10. $10. $10. Uh, da, 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 da. So on and so forth. And the Steam sale. Steam sale is huge. This is ridiculous. Stalker bundles cheap, nine dollars. Killing Floor bundles ten dollars. Fear Collection is seven dollars. This is just ridiculous how cheap these games are. So yeah, guys, check it out. I think they are probably going to end tonight. Uh, most I know the Steam sale. I think is going to end tonight. So by the time you guys watch this, it may be off. So thanks for the the thing, the link there, Fish Twit. Uh, TF2 celebrates Halloween with costumes and a map. Yeah, TF2 always celebrates Halloween with some special stuff. So they got various costumes now for TF2. Uh, running a Halloween event. You get to fight some big eye monster. And you get secret loot in TF2 on a certain map. So several uh, farming servers have already been set up. Uh, ba, 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 ba. there's a new comic to read. The Scream Fortress Very Scary Halloween Special. So guys, if you're not playing TF2, you need to get it. They have cool stuff like this waiting on you. Alright. Now, thanks for that fish twit. Emmerdale's a couple links. 40%, 49% of gamers don't buy DLC. Yeah, I was hoping it'd be more. Forty-nine percent of HD console owners. Oh, so now gamers are HD console owners, huh? I'm gonna keep reading. Forty-nine percent of HD console owners have not purchased DLC content in the past twelve months. Wow. According to his data gathered from a variety of sources, that compares to sixty percent in 2010 and sixty-six percent in 2009. So the trend is going down. So less and less. Of HD console owners are buying DLC. Um, hey, times are hard in a lot of places. Additional survey uh, suggests the following reasons that gamers choose not to buy game add-ons. Privacy, no return policy, too expensive. So the number one thing is privacy. That's very interesting. Hmm. And not enough quality is, a, is the bottom one. Privacy. Why would they choose? 
why would you choose privacy as a reason to not buy DLC? I'm assuming you don't want to put in a credit card number online, maybe? Because these are console owners. They go to a store and they buy they buy a brick and mortar. I mean, they don't have to use a credit card. So th that's the that's the thing I can assume as being under privacy. They, they don't they don't want their credit card to be used online, which is a lot of people. A lot of people don't want their credit card online. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think of another thing that would fit under privacy. Uh, huh. I guess personal information on PSN don't want it be don't want it to be lost anymore. Because we got to think about console guys. These are console owners, not PC gamers. So um, they're used to. I mean, you don't really have to have a credit card to buy games. You can walk in with some pennies if you want. Okay, but quality is at the bottom. I don't, huh? Uh, oh man, I, w I would like to know where they got these thirty-five hundred people from because these are some weird results. I would not have expected quality and the other some of these other ones to be way down there at the bottom. But a great link, nonetheless, over at Eurogamer.net. Thanks, Emmerdo. Battlefield Three sells five million in one week. I was looking for something like this. How much they sold as opposed to shipped. That's all I saw was ship everywhere. So they sold 5 million copies in this first week of sales. According to internal EA estimates. Which is probably all they can do at this point. Making it the fastest skill selling game ever for EA. That says a lot. Um, it reckons servers and servers uptime stabilized to roughly 98.9% .9 over the weekend. A good number of players certainly have been able to get online. They were talking about the little problems that they had. Uh, last week, EA claimed that it shipped 10 million to retailers. And many stores are apparently already looking to restock. One thing I want to know is if this includes digital sales or not. Um, and you, I think EA should have a good way of tracking online digital sales. So yeah, so sold is five million, shipped ten million. So that number is probably likely to go up as we get numbers from Europe and UK. Um, and these are estimates. I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking the actual number maybe between six and seven million. That's my guesstimate. I think it's like six and seven million. That's just a rough guesstimate. But good link, nonetheless. Thank you for that. Euro, uh, Eurogamer.net, Emron Dell. Sarams posts new link. Sneak peek at the new portal map creator. This is the new in-game creator. Valve is going to be coming out with a new in-game editor for Portal 2 maps. No longer do you have to use the dreaded hammer program that a lot of people don't like uh, to create Portal 2 maps. They're going to come in with the in-game editor. And apparently this is a sneak peek. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. <laughs> that looks really good. That looks really, 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 really good. <laughs> um. Okay, let's read it. Valve has released a sneak peek about the that 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 create and distribute your own portal to puzzles. Um, how they work, you might be wondering. Well, the puzzle creator lets players easily carve out the creations in a straightforward but powerful way. Once complete, players will be able to immediately upload their creations to their Steam Cloud and share them with their players online. Valve is also building their own community site to house all the new puzzles. So we're going to get like a Steam Workshop. They're probably going to tie it in the Steam Workshop, what we see in TF2. That would be cool. They didn't give any release date. Um, but if this is the actual editor, uh, I am highly impressed. 
because that is very cool. Very cool. Very cool looking. Check it out, guys. This is over G4 TV. Thanks for links to ROMs. And new screenshots of Ghost Recon Online revealed. Ghost Recon. Looking forward to this title. So some new screenshots. This is going to be the new free-to-play online shooter Ghost Recon Online for PC. Um, da -da -da -da, da -da -da. These are new screenshots. I don't think we have a release date yet. Nope, we don't. Let's check out some of these screenshots here. Looks like a customization screen. Looking forward to this title too, guys. Looks really good. If you never played Ghost Recon, this would be a good way to get started. I said that before. Good team-based tactical shooter. This one is going to be free to play. <clears throat> we talked about it on the last game chat, or one of the other game chats, where the developer said they're going to put a lot of things in here to make teamwork easier. Teamwork easier. And we like easy teamwork. Don't we, guys? I hope so. Good screens here. All right, so Rams, thanks for the link. And let's see, do we have any more? I think we do. No, we don't. Oh, we don't have any more. And that concludes all of our story. Guess what time it is, y'all? And guess what time it is, y'all? And guess what time it is? I do believe it is title time. Title time! Where you derps come up with titles. You come up with these whizzy titles so that I can come up with a title for my stories. For my stuff. My stuff. But basically, you guys come up with a witty title so that we can name the show. Whatever you guys come up with, you will be the title of the show. And if you're the winner, you win absolutely nothing. So let's look at these titles. Title a button for everything. PS3, no 1943, but DLC free. Ho, 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 ho. 20 gigabytes for DLC on PS3. BF3 gets stable while BLC gets steam. <laughs> free to play is the tagline of the day. Lol, you said season two. <laughs> title, I has no titles. No game, no DLC, no support, no hope. Back to Karkhan. It's about time. There's a rule. You must misspell Karkhan every time you type it. It rhymes with Calafil C. Title, it rhymes with Calafil C. Oh, you just typed twice. The electronic art of lying. Oh, 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 oh. I got the hiccups now. Spectator mode and OP mortars. Game Chat Born, episode 35. EA says no dice for Battlefield 1940. Oh, Fish Twitch coming out the gates. BLC is free. Late DLC for BF3. Mortars are OP. Okay. Great list here. I think Fish Twitch wants to win. I got three titles. Three titles I has. I has three of them. Three titles. You guys get ready to vote. I'm gonna be voting by number one, two, or three. When B George starts to poll, you vote in the chat. Here's number one. Here's number two. 
Here's number three. Here we go. Them boats are flying in. All right, ten more seconds. And the winner is number one, the electronic art of line. Congratulations, Fish Twit. Title win number. Congratulations, you have won. Fish Twit, you have won absolutely nothing. Because here at Game Chat with Buana, we can't afford prizes, but we can give you one thing, and that one thing is called bragging rights. That's right, you got bragging rights until next week's show. Tell your friends and family, even make a forum signature that say, hey, I won Game Chat with Buana title time, and I'm proud of it. And they'll go, ah! You did what? And then they'll come at you with hugs and kisses and adulation, and you'll look to your friends and family, and you'll say, that's right. I got a week of bragging rights with Game Chat with Buona. Title time winner, Fish Twit, congratulations. You are the man. And with that, guys, that's going to conclude today's show. We are here at live.buona.tv and at justin.tv, twitch.tv slash Buona. We do this every Monday night at about 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern now. We're doing a little bit earlier for our European viewers. So spread the word if uh, you guys don't know about the new time change. We're doing it at 6 p.m. Eastern now. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Buona or at twitter.com slash Buona Live if you wish to be notified when I go live on my stream. Because we also play games here on our stream. We don't just, you know, we just don't do game chat with Buona and podcast. We actually play video games and uh, give you guys some commentary. You know, we have some team games. Sometimes we have some solo games. And, uh... <clears throat> Uncharted 3 games tomorrow. Yes. So follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Buona and twitter.com slash Buona Lives. Also, can join our forums. That's the way, that's the best way to be in the know. Join our forums at Buona.tv slash forums. I post pretty much every major announcement up there. Uh, and we go through all of, you know, the show notes up there. We post everything up there. We got all the FAQs. We got the rules. We got... You know, all the access information, everything you possibly want, go to born.tv slash form. Also, guys, I want you to consider our premium package. What we do is we reward people who are gracious enough to donate $5 a month. We give them premium Minecraft access. We give them premium TF2 server access. We also give them uh, forum titles and uh, custom titles and things like that. And you're eligible for a monthly giveaway of a free game. And last month, Saram's won. He got... Uh, he got Skyrim. He won his. And I'm going to be posting our list of games that we're going to be choosing from. Basically, we're going to have a list of games that you can choose from uh, to uh, in case you win. So we'll have a list of games. And if you don't like any of the games, we'll just give you $60 PayPal. That's a way of just, you know, saying thanks for supporting me here at Game Chat with Buona. So go to Buona.tv slash donate if you wish to become one of our premium subscribers or premium members, as I like to call it. All right, guys. That concludes Game Chat with Juana, episode 35. And I'm glad to be back. I missed last week's show. Um, had something happen to my family that I had to be there for them. But uh, now I'm back again. And uh, I'm glad to be here with you guys. Back again Monday night. We'll see you all next week. Take care. Have a great week. Keep on gaming and stuff. All right. Bye-bye. Cut!